Well, new at six o'clock tonight, you asked and we are answering over the past week. So many of you have reached out looking for clarity on Buffalo's new metered parking rules. Channel 2's Michael Wooten responds to some of the most common questions. Many want to know exactly where are parking prices increasing. In general, this rate hike applies in what's called the Central Business District, although not every street here is included. The goal is to target those that are most in demand for street parking. Next, is the price hike up to $2 an hour in line with other cities? And two on your side looked at the 20 places whose metro areas are closest in size to western New York. Of these, only two charge more than the Queen City. New Orleans and Honolulu are each up to $3 an hour. 13 of these cities are cheaper than Buffalo. Take Raleigh, North Carolina. That bustling city only charges up to $1 an hour in its downtown. Now let's look at the new event parking, when you'll have to pay meters up until 10 o'clock at night. Where does that apply? Well, it's only during events at these four venues, the Keybank Center, Canal Side, Shays Performing Arts Center, and Salem Field. You'll have to pay to park until 10 only on nearby streets when events are happening at those places. Many have asked, how will I know when event parking is in effect? The city says some are obvious. When there's a Sabres game, of course, event parking will apply in the Cobblestone District. But what about Canal Side? Which events warrant event parking? And the parking department says signs will go up to let people know. And the city will have an online calendar for drivers to check. Finally, a common question regarding so-called app-only areas. These are streets where paid parking was just now allowed. What if you don't have the app? The simple answer, you just can't park there. The city acknowledges that will be upsetting to some, but leaders say most people have smartphones and credit cards, and so everyone is encouraged to use the app as much as possible. We'll see if more questions arise from whatever the Common Council decides to do as lawmakers take up this issue this coming Tuesday. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.